everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of day you are watching this. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're feeling good. Today I'm back, I don't know why I'm doing this, like I'm some sort of like, what's that guy in the orchestra? The, um, oh, what is his name? You know, oh, the conductor, that's what I'm looking like. Anyway, today I'm back with a pretty little thing haul. I've had a bit of a browse on there, got some of their new in bits because they're bringing out some good bits for summer. So I've picked up a few of them. I thought I'd show you them. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get on with it, to be honest. Everything will be linked down below. I'll be trying haul as always. My curtain bangs, as per usual, just aren't quite sitting right today. So just, just ignore that. Um, Instagram and my TikTok will be down below as well. Make sure you're following me over on there because I post pretty frequently on both of those who don't want to miss out on that. And now I'm gonna get started with the haul. And I actually... I kind of want to start with this, but I don't know if I want to start with a bikini, so I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. I mean, no, I'm, I know what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with these, which are some super wide cargoes, and I saw these on the app, um, but they were like only in stock in like one size, and then I literally checked back for like two weeks for them to come back in stock in a size that would fit me, um, and then I managed to get them in a size four. Now, since that time, they have like restocked them, so they are in, like they are available in all sizes, which is really like good timing for this haul. Um, but these are giant. For reference, I. I'm a size six and I'm five at five and like I said I got these in a size four and they are absolutely huge and that is meant to be the style of them um but on the model they just looked a little bit better than what they look like on me but they're like this kind of a crew like creamy beige color they have this tie waist detailing and then obviously because they're cargoes they've got like, the pockets on the side and then they go down like super super wide and then they've got this like pleating sort of detail on the bottom which i really like but they are so like wide leg like they are the biggest widest leg trousers ever that i've ever had on and i just don't know i don't know if they're like a little bit too big almost i don't know if they look like flattering but i have seen this like styled a few different ways on the website like they've styled it with different things and they do look really nice and they are like a really nice quality and stuff but i'm not sure i don't know if they look right but i'm glad i managed to get them eventually but i'm just not sure on them then i got some dresses i actually got them in all three colors that they did them in because i just really liked how the dresses looked on the models so i thought i might as well get all three colors and they are basically these ribbed black dresses not black some this one's black the others aren't black as we've seen they are basically like these ribbed bandeau dresses though and they literally look the material is so funny when you just hold it up because it's literally just like this strip um but obviously they're like a nice stretchy material and then once you You've got them on they're going to be like really nice and figure hugging because they're just really tight um these i all got in an extra small and they're like that um what do they call it? i think they call it like the structured contour rib range from pretty little thing which is like the zara limbless contour collection it's that kind of material so i've got the black one they did it in like this nude color like a toe piece of nude color and then an orange which i thought would be really nice on holiday i don't know if i'm going to keep all of them but i couldn't decide on a color online so i just I decided to get them all and I really like them so I'm not complaining and then carrying on with talks of holiday um last week Sophia and I booked our trip to Ibiza which I'm so excited about and then I was on Instagram the other day and an Instagram advert came up from Pretty Little Thing um which I don't think I've ever had before it was like really random anyway I had this Instagram ad come up with this bikini on like this girl was wearing this bikini and I was like oh my goodness me um so I bought it straight away basically I was obsessed with it and the reason why I mentioned Ibiza is that I'm thinking this would look really nice in Ibiza like it's giving me Ibiza vibes it's also giving me white fox vibes like i feel like this is the type of bikini you'd get from white fox and i absolutely love white fox so it's like a win 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 so this is the top it's like a blue base with like pink flowers on and like an orange dot now this i got in a size eight um and it's not adjustable and i'm just not sure it looks it almost looks a bit big and i'm not too sure it's just like a over the head one no clasps but i'm gonna try it and then i got the bottoms in a size six and they look oh, we're a little bit tangled they look like this they have like a tie sort of like side on them i haven't tried this on yet but on the girl that was wearing it it looked absolutely beautiful um so i'm hoping it's gonna look the same and this was 10 pound for each piece i think but i managed to get like 10 percent off and you always seem to be able to get a discount on pretty little things so you can literally get this bikini for basically under 20 pounds and i am obsessed with her and then carrying on with beach wear and like swimwear and stuff i got this you might know already if you've seen a couple of my hauls recently but i'm really obsessed with crochet at the moment and it's definitely going to be like a trend this year like it seems to be everywhere and i'm really here for it or like crochet open knit type things um so i saw this little dress like a bikini cover-up dress on pretty little thing so i thought i'd give it a go so it's just got like these thin straps 
looks like this it's like a kind of crochet detail all the way down i've just realized i've not done a mug of choice for this video and i could do with some water but we'll get back to the mug of choice next video okay I'm, i apologize for forgetting and then the back is kind of like slightly uh, like a lower back if you can see that and then it just goes down it has got a slit like on both sides and it's like a do you see what i mean like this is a big slit like that is a really really big slit but obviously it's the kind of thing that you're going to wear over the top of a, of a bikini so it doesn't really matter with the big slit um yeah this is gonna be a lot easier to see than the triangle lips but it's just like this little dress this i got in a size six and it's actually from the tool range um but i've had things from the tool range before and it's not really an issue like depending obviously what you're getting but i feel like this kind of beach dress it doesn't really matter if it's from the tool range it should it should kind of work unless you're literally like four foot two then it might be a bit of an issue do you know what i mean but i feel like for five foot five i should be able to get away with it then i got this um bodysuit i couldn't think of the word then this reminds me of one that i got from zara um i think it was definitely last year i want to say maybe like november time um which i got in like a chocolate brown color and they do also do this in a chocolate brown color they also do it in a black um and it's basically i'm pretty sure they've copied zara with this because it's like this square um a little cut out thing it's literally identical to my zara one it's not as good quality though um it's just a lot flimsier and thinner but i wanted to like try the nude one because i thought it was a really nice color and this actually i did see um one of the models was wearing it with the cargoes i showed at the start and it actually looked really nice together like a nice tight like faux leather um like bodysuit and then the really baggy cargoes it was quite like a nice juxtaposition juxtaposition so i quite liked it um and it also has um like that kind of grippy plastic lining sort of all the way through the top to try and keep it in place which i quite like and then it is a popper bodysuit and it's a thong so that gets some brownie points from me and this i got in a size six but yeah not as good quality as a pretty little thing one but i still thought it's quite a nice like bodysuit quite easy to wear in style pop it on my mum jeans pop it on the cargoes wide leg trousers shorts like so many different things so i really liked it i don't know why i'm like throwing it around loads today but apparently i am then going back to my be through and like holiday vibes i got these and these are very like y2k which isn't really my normal style like i like the y2k style but i don't really tend to wear it myself but i saw these and i just i kind of really like them um so they're these pink frameless sunglasses which again like the whole thing about them just kind of isn't me but then there is part of it that is me i don't really know how to explain it but they're like these frameless sunglasses and then they have like diamantes on them that say that's hot and i just thought that was so cool i do like a bit of a close-up so you can see what i mean but like i just thought that diamante detail was so cool like the fact that it says it on the glasses and i've never seen that before like i'm guessing there probably is like maybe a designer that does this and pretty little thing might have got the idea from them i don't know um but i've never seen it before the only thing that is annoying me though is it says that, like that's hot and there's no apostrophe between the t and the s on that and i know that's really petty and like really nerdy and geeky but punctuation does sometimes get on my nerves like if people don't punctuate things properly like it's just annoying really don't need to go into that but do you see what i mean like there's no apostrophe there but i just thought these were kind of cool like i don't know well I literally feel like I'm living in a Barbie world and I'm a Barbie girl with these on because literally everything is pink. And yeah, they're very Y2K. I think if they didn't have the writing on them, this tag looks fantastic, doesn't it? I feel like if they didn't have the writing on them, I probably wouldn't have got them because I don't know. I don't know if these like frameless Y2K sunglasses are really my thing. Like I don't know if they suit me, but I thought the writing on them was really cool. I love this tag especially for like an instagram picture i'm thinking this is really cool um so i thought i'd get them i kind of wish they did them like an orange or something oh, no, do i mm. i feel like if they did them in orange i don't know if i'd actually have preferred that to the pink i don't know i just thought these were really cool um and they weren't too expensive and i just thought they're like a cool like holiday accessory kind of thing okay carrying on with like again ib for sort of things i got these two i was well these look so bright on camera i was so excited to see these so first up um they released the trouser version um so i got them straight away because i thought they might sell out and then a couple of days later they released the shorts version so these are the same um but a trouser and a short version as i've just kind of given away and they're like this green toweling material kind of trouser and they've got that kind of like well they have this like line detailing on them but i think it's meant to be like um the bottega kind of dressing gown um like slider vibes um it's not the same color though because um i've got some like sliders that are like i don't know why i'm struggling to get my words out i have some like green sliders that are toweling which i got from ego but pretty little thing do also sell like the exact same one so i link them down below um but they're a darker green but if they were the same color green it would look so cool to have like the matching like um sliders with the shorts but they're different shades annoyingly but i love this color though i'm rambling aren't i this is a cool color it's like a bright green like apple sour green color it's just annoying they don't match but anyway they're like the bottega dupe is what i'm trying to say they're like a toweling wide leg kind of trouser 
trouser like, these are like a little white bralette would be really cool you could wear these as like normal trousers or you could wear them as like a beach cover-up like bikini cover-up type thing and then these are the short version um they're like a runner short style really nice elasticated waistband unfortunately they've got no pockets in them but if you're just wearing them like over the top of like a white bikini oh my goodness me i'm thinking these shorts like bright green bikini top to kind of match and then like a white shirt over the top as like a kind of bikini cover up type thing like we're walking to the beach we've woken up on holiday and we're walking to the beach so we've got the bikini top showing shorts on white shirt over the top sandals beach bag absolutely adorable i can't wait for that so we have those bright green toweling things and then kind of carrying on with the green i have this t-shirt which they also did in a white with green on the back or like a creamy color so i'll insert a picture of that in here um but they also did it in this color and this is actually i'm pretty sure this is meant to be a t-shirt dress yeah, it's meant to be a t-shirt dress, but I got them in a size 4 because normally when pretty little things say oversized, they are really oversized. But this actually is a good like width, but it's quite short, so I'm not sure if I needed to size up. But this is like a mauvey colour, and it's a really good material, this t-shirt. Like, it's really... So was the other colour as well. Like, it's a really stretchy, like material that's going to hang really nicely which is really important for t-shirt dresses and it's like this mauvey colour and then on the back in orange it says be you not them which I think is a really nice saying I love the font because it's like a bubble font and I like the colours together I think it works really well and then like I said the other one was like cream with green on which again I absolutely loved and like you could wear like orange sandals or green sandals to like tie it all in together I think it like it's a nice easy thing to chuck on really easy to style because you've got two colours you can style it with and it's comfy and I really liked it and we all know i love a t-shirt dress so i got her carrying on with dresses and taking the tea away from the shirt so it's just a shirt dress no not taking the tea away from the shirt you know like t-shirt but take away the first t then you make a shirt dress that's a good transition that is what i'm gonna say we now have a shirt dress and this one is like the plise material that you know like everyone's loving the plise sets but this is like a shirt dress version does that make sense so rather than a mini shirt it's a dress i think that's really cool um so it looks like so the only thing about this i've had like i've ordered the plise set um from pretty little thing and it's just like on camera it looks pretty like whitey cream but like it's got like a bit of a gold sheen to it and i'd rather it be like white white rather than having like a yellowy gold tinge to it annoyingly and this has the <coughs> Sorry, my voice literally just went then and that's why I should have brought some water for this video. I've learned my lesson. Um, but yeah, it's got like a kind of goldy sheen to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Although to be fair, on holiday with the sun shining in a tan, that goldy sheen could look quite nice. Especially if you had like a gold body highlight on. But I personally prefer it to be a white colour. But anyway, this is the shirt dress. Really, really simple. We have like a lettuce sort of frilled hem nice and easy to throw on and i feel like this is a really nice like dress to wear from daytime to evening like you could go out for the day in this in like sandals and a nice little like bag and stuff and then you could easily pop on some heels to make it like a little bit more dressy for the evening or whatever like i do feel like it's really versatile and these like plise things are so on trend at the moment but like even when they're not on trend i feel like they're still something you can wear if you know what i mean like you obviously don't really want to buy into the trends all the time because fast fashion and everything we don't want to be wasting money on clothes and things like that but i like I don't mind wearing things from trends if I know I'm going to wear them once the trend is over and this is definitely one of those pieces where I feel like even when people aren't wearing pleasing anymore it's still going to be like it's not going to be not cool to wear if you know what I mean so we have her and then actually talking back to things of me saying like these I would think are ugly and I do still think these are ugly but I kind of I don't know I wanted to try them I'll just show you them basically they're a pair of sandals they did them in like an olivey green color as well which is really nice and pretty little thing have been styling these sandals with like a lot of things on their website at the moment like in the model pictures so you can see how versatile they are um I'm not sure about them in person to be honest now I'm looking at them I do think they're super super ugly but I thought I'd try them they're like a wedge sandal kind of thing that needs to just be taken off and then it looks like this and they look super comfy to be fair the only thing i'm not a big big fan of is the black sole because you can kind of see the black on the bottom i'd rather that be like the same color so it all blends in together but i thought these are actually like kind of comfy because they've got a nice like, wedge to them and they're going to give you a little bit of height and i just thought these were kind of cool and like i said they look super versatile because i've seen a lot of things styled with these on the pretty little thing website but um, do you know what I'm not too sure because I don't think these are the type of thing that I probably wear for years on end and I don't really want to be buying things that I'm only going to wear one year if you know what I mean I want to make sure I'm buying things that 
I'm going to be wearing for years. And I don't think this fits the bill. So I think she's going to get returned, but I wanted to try her anyway. And she is actually the last thing for this Pretty Little Thing haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to do like a Pretty Little Thing holiday, um, like dedicated like holiday clothing haul in a couple of weeks or months or something, I think, because I know like, they're already starting to release holiday clothes. And they're like, I know people are like, I feel like this year is like the first year and a lot of people are going on like proper holidays because of COVID for like the past couple of years, people haven't been away. So I feel like this year is the year for holidays everyone's going to want to be going on holiday and like getting new clothes for holiday because they haven't been on holiday for a while so definitely going to be bringing some holiday content soon um so make sure you subscribe for that and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching it and i shall see you at some point soon another one bye